Hey guys, today we're going to do a little modification on this 2021 Model Y. And even though this is the newer model, we still have the older console, which has all this gloss here. You guys can see how glossy that is. Number one, it's a fingerprint magnet, and two, also a dust magnet. So, And even worse, it scratches really easy if you, you know, have a little sand in between. The piano-like finish just doesn't look all that great. And so what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it with the wrap kit that I got from Amazon, but it's actually by a company called EV wraps so this is kind of like a kit that technically comes with everything you need for the installation so we got very good precise instructions so normally I don't read instructions but I probably should on this and you guys can see here the vinyl wrap and it is a carbon fiber and the reason we decided to go with this instead of something more flat was because if something happened to this like a scratch or just getting dirty it's less noticeable on this kind of surface than it is on something that's flat or just a matte color so yeah and it should you know match in here pretty well and give it a more upscale look but yeah it looks like we have three pieces here there's the cup holder piece and the other piece here we also get this clear piece of vinyl and I think this is to assist with lining up the cup holders for this piece here so you can peel it and put it on here and then you peel this and line it up and also we got a few other little trims here I'm not sure what these are for and this kit also includes looks like probably an alcohol clean wipe and a little spatula squeegee whatever you call this thing to massage the uh, vinyl push the air bubbles out so all right well I'm pretty excited to install this but I know from experience or at least for myself I don't do very well with this stuff and I definitely need to take my time and do it right so the first thing I'm gonna do is read the instructions and then use these wipes to clean off the surface area and then we'll probably start with the easiest one which is here in the middle and if that goes well we'll do the other two Alright, so I'm putting on my first piece and I decided to go from the side over instead of top and bottom because it seemed like I can line it up a little better. But I am a little worried because I still have to tuck my edges in somehow, but I guess that's what this tool's for is to push them in there. Yeah, so I'm just going to work this in. So what I'm doing is I'm slowly just massaging it in that way as I go, so make sure there's no air bubbles. So yeah, it looks like it's going down pretty good. I'm here right at the end. I think I had a little more on this side than this side. But I have a feeling I should have split it between the two a little better. I think I could still take it off properly, but... So I realized I was doing it all wrong. You're supposed to open the lid and then start here from this edge. And then fold it down. Because here you can see it matches perfectly on the side here. And then you kind of lay it over as you go. So I kind of stretched my vinyl here a little bit. But I think it'll be fine. Because I had to peel it off. So anyways, yeah. So I'm just going to slowly now massage it into the panel as I go down. For a pretty rough start, it turned out pretty good. Even though I had to take it back off and put it back on, and there appears to be no bubbles or anything weird at all, so. Turned out perfect, I would say. Or pretty darn perfect. And by the way, if you push this here, it pops up on the back here where you can get to the angle on this side, so. Yeah, I guess the hardest part is aligning it up and setting it down where there's no bubbles. Yeah, definitely takes a little bit of patience and, and definitely a little bit of skill. If you've never done this kind of stuff, it might be a little hard and it probably would be worth it to, you know, let someone else do it that knows how to do this. And on this one, we're gonna start right here on this slip and go that way up. So same procedure like we did here, starting from here and going this way. We're gonna start from here going up. And then we'll do the last one here, which is definitely the more complicated one, with lining it up here around the cup holder. All right. 
right, so this is what it looks like so far, and I'm quite pleased with the result. So this piece was actually even harder to put on than this one because of the awkward position more, and it is a little larger, and plus, for some reason, it just didn't want to lay flat. I had to kind of massage it in there. Yeah, you can see all the lines turned out pretty good. We do still have a little gloss finish trim up there, and I think the extra pieces of this one here is what it's for up there. And I think also there's a piece for that, which is this guy here. So yeah, in any case, let's go ahead and finish the third main piece. The easiest to get to, but maybe the hardest to apply because of lining up these cup holders precisely. But it might not be too bad because they include a clear film that you first apply on top of this, and then you're gonna peel the back and apply the whole thing down while being able to see through the clear film here on the cup holders. So the cup holder area is finished and it turned out really good. Honestly, I was the most nervous about this whole part here, but it laid down pretty well and it seems to be sticking. And you guys can see it looks really good. So I didn't get it perfect. It is close enough, so there is a little bit of a gap here and it was too much here. So I had it shifted this way just a little bit. But when the console is closed, that it covers up that area anyways. So I'm not too worried. Honestly, I'm already happy how well it turned out. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do this piece and the piece under there because I do have them. So might as well go ahead and do the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that. And yeah, so far I'm pretty happy with how it's all coming together. All right, so this piece is on and it looks really good. It doesn't cover the sides, they're still shiny, but it does, you know, look a lot nicer when you open it. Matches the whole thing. And then, also up there, that was kind of hard to fit in there and it's not perfect, but kind of finishes it off, so. So yeah, I think this was a very successful installation and turned out way better than I thought it was going to. So now we don't have to worry about scratching up that gloss black. And not only that, it looks much better in here. So if you're buying a newer model Y, you're not going to have this issue. This is for the older ones. But ours is 2021 and still has, I guess, one of the last older consoles. And if you have a console like this in your Model 3, it's exactly the same. So it fits both Y and 3. So looks really good and really upscales the interior. So if you have a Model Y or 3 with this console and you want to make it look better, check out this carbon fiber wrap kit by EV Wraps. It really turns out nice and it just cleans up the whole interior much better. And also guys, check out my other videos. I got cargo mats, mud flaps, also a video about wheel caps if you have the Gemini wheels. And there's a lot more videos to come. So if you are interested, stay tuned. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.